Hey guys, Jasmine again, um, another vlog review of this series. Um, this week is actually a What Was I Waiting For review. You guys voted on which series I should read next, and the winner was the Dreamcatcher series by Lisa McMahon. And I had all three of the books ready to go, so I decided just to go ahead and haul right through them, and I'm so glad you guys picked this series. It was so different than anything else I've ever read. So I'll kind of show you guys here. Don't mind my dog sparking at someone coming down the road. Uh, first book is Wake. And I love the covers. They're kind of creepy, but they're so simple. I don't know. They're just good. Uh, fade. Ooh, sorry. I'm bad at this. And then Gone. So... I actually read um, Criers Cross a while ago when it came out, um, before I even purchased these ones. And after I read Criers Cross, uh, I bought the first, the first book in the Dreamcatcher series, Wake. Um, and then I kind of just slowly bought the other two. Oh, one got gifted to me from the Rack um, program. But so I these books, Lisa McMahon. I really love her writing. Um, it's it's simple, and I don't want to say simple. It's not simple in a bad way. Sometimes there's books that you read and you love all the detail and the descriptions and this and that, and you know it really sucks you into that world. With the way Lisa McMahon writes, her sentence structure is just I don't know. The way she writes, it doesn't need all that. I don't want to call it fluff. Some books need it. The, her books just I don't know. There's something about them that's different that I love. You know, the, the writing is really easy to read. Um, these books are just each a little over 200 pages. Um, and they're written kind of like, let me show you here. Um, um, doo -doo 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 -doo. If you can see it, see how it goes by like date and time and it's like split up into sections. That makes it really easy to read for, because for me, I'm like one of those people that won't stop like if it's not a chapter end but this made it easy like if I needed to break and it felt like it went way faster and they're only a little over 200 pages so I read them all three of them in two days no problem and they could have been longer because I really could have read more about Janie and Cable like I could have read six books about Janie and Cable so <laughs> they could have been a lot longer than 200 pages um I'll talk a little bit more now about this story Janie can well, not can. It's not like she can choose. She, if someone around her falls asleep and they start dreaming, she's sucked into their dream. Just like <laughs> sucked in there with them. And um, it's all about her story and like figuring out what's going on with her and, you know, falling in love and making decisions. And um, Janie's mother is an alcoholic and she doesn't really leave the house and she's pretty much kind of a terrible parent and um, I can relate to that our um, you know just and I's um, parents both have sub substance abuse issues still and I remember a time where I had to act like a parent to them and not to the extent Jamie had to act like a parent to her mother because I mean Jamie worked like you know almost like a full-time job and went to school you know she took care of everything at home and it, it wasn't that bad you know at, at our house but I can definitely relate to the fact, you know, you feel like you're grown up way too fast. And that's how Janie was. And that's kind of what made her who she was. You know, she was more of a loner. She didn't go and hang out and have a bunch of friends and, you know, do a bunch of stuff after school. She was busy, you know, working and taking care of her mom and stuff like that. And so that, that made it really relatable to me. And um, then there's Cable, who I absolutely loved. Um, Cabe. I, I like his name, too. I think it's so different. Um, he was probably one of like the sweetest um guys in the young adult book like he had his problems he had major family issues too but he was always there for Janie he he didn't want her to go through anything alone he was always there for her you know he made sure she was always okay he took care of her you know because she, when she'd go into a dream she would be blind and she couldn't move and you know, he was always there looking out for her, no matter what. Um, and then, you know, this story is really 
a lot deeper than like there's you know a, a deeper message in it than just her going to people's dreams and helping them you know it's really the whole story is about making decisions that are right for you choosing your right path um, there might be people around you that have similar problems and they cheat you know choose either this path or this path well you have to find what's right for you and not you know because it worked for them maybe it's not the best you know situation for you um, I think that is one of the main things <laughs> don't mind him um, the main things that um, this story is about I think and you know Lisa McMahon did a great a great um, job at <laughs> at um, putting that across and there's a lot of I mean these are for I would say a little older young adult um, readers there's some in the second book some very um, interesting things happen um, I'm not gonna really I don't wanna really delve into it too deep because I don't want to ruin anything for anybody um, let's just say interesting that's a good word but I highly recommend these especially if you've read Criers Cross and you haven't read these yet or if you have read these and you haven't read Criers Cross do it um, so again they're wake fade and gone and Lisa McMahon is also coming out with um, another book called The Unwanted and it's a dystopian and I'm really really looking forward to that now that I just I really enjoy her writing it's something completely different something fresh and you know that I don't read all the time so um, I recommend recommend the um, Dreamcatcher series so if you guys can get your hands on it definitely do that and um, don't forget to vote I'm not sure what I'm putting in the poll yet but vote down there for what we should read next alright alright we'll see you guys later bye